praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen. Now, um, today at about 12 o'clock, the Lord slayed me and uh, I went to sleep. And then uh, the Lord began to speak with me about the mission that's coming up to South Africa, the tremendous mission in Durban. And uh, in that mission, I see um, I see a, a very big visitation coming to the nation of South Africa. The Lord now focuses on the mission to South Africa, so he takes me to South Africa. And uh, I see that uh, when the healing service will take place there, when the man of God when the Lord brings his servant, the mighty prophet, to the meeting of the Lord, I see that as he enters there, uh, there will be tremendous healing. And now I see this girl, I don't know whether she's 12 or, or a little bit 13 or so, uh, in almost a light cloth though, but uh, a black girl, yes, and uh, her ear, her ear. So when she grows closer, uh, to, to, to the man of God. The man of God blows. He blows his breath, the breath of God, through the ears that were deaf. And I, I see the ears open. Then I see another little baby. I don't know whether the baby was blind or crippled, also healed. And the, the mother of these babies, there is a mother here. The mother here. And then at that time, my phone. I don't know whether it's my phone that falls from my pocket. Yes, my phone, I think when I kneel down, my phone falls from the pocket. And another phone, there's another phone on the side there. So I, I mistook the other one than my phone. Then I found that my phone was this other one. So this is the situation I see there. There's going to be tremendous healing service, a very mighty historic visitation, the ignition of a mega end time revival only equal, only set is going to take place in South Africa. And uh, then the second, the third part of this conversation, but second part for South Africa, uh, the Lord goes ahead and now shows me that uh, when I come to the meeting, I see that when I come to that meeting, the healing service, and uh, I, I thought I was preaching because I hear myself speaking about righteousness, the return to righteousness. Let us now connect to the Son of Righteousness, S-U-N, I, 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 I say S-U-N, the Son of Righteousness, who is Christ Jesus. And then I say also, let us turn to the Son of Righteousness, S-O-N, the Son of Righteousness, whose name is Christ Jesus. And I'm, as I'm saying so, a special group of people enter. They enter. I don't know why I thought this is a church, inside the church, but anyhow, what happens here is that as I enter, I was doing that, I was doing that, and then another part, I was entering the meeting, and this looks good because I can see the buildings, I can see the, the neighborhood, the residential quarters that are built all across the hill, across the other side, and this would look to me more like now in the healing service. So as I now enter the healing service, then Bishop Nizwand, Michael Nizwand, comes and presents a microphone to me. And when he gives me the microphone, the microphone does not work well. The microphone does not work well. So again, Bishop needs one. When he gives me the microphone, it does not, the volume is too low. So I struggle and struggle. It almost stops the meeting. So Bishop needs one. Run back to the mixer. And I see him adjusting. And then the voice, the sound comes. But meanwhile, someone else presents another microphone to me, which I try. Also, it's very low. My voice cannot come through. However, the most important part that I want to lay here is at that time, and the Lord uses that giving of the microphone to me, the giving, meaning you will have just arrived. I have just arrived to the meeting, and uh, as I receive the microphone, then rain begins to fall. <clears throat> Heaven opens. And rain begins to fall. And so I am announcing here that when the Lord brings me to South Africa, he is going to open heaven. The Lord is commanding the heavens to open right now when his servant comes to South Africa. That when he comes to this meeting, and this is a healing service, I suppose. But yeah, this is a healing service because I can see the, the, the quarters, the residential quarters across the hill, the buildings, the houses and so forth. 
And so this is a unique rain. When, the, when heaven open and, opens and rain comes, this rain comes as a column, the way the column of pillar has been coming down on the man of God, his servant, here in Kenya, straight direct from heaven, a straight pillar that goes direct and covers him. So that is how that rain comes from heaven. That rain comes directly as a column and falls only on a certain section, and even on a certain side, there is no rain. Only a certain section it rains, and I was so shocked. I said, look now, I announced it there. Look, it's only falling on this section, and this side has no rain. So a column of rain, heaven will open, and a column of rain come. But immediately I said, look, it's only falling on this side, and uh, this other side, there's a demarcation. It's raining right there. You can see on this side there is no rain, and here there is rain, demarcation like this. And then at that time, the wind picks up and the rain now sweeps the other side. It begins to go to other areas now. So I'm announcing here that when the Lord, the God of Israel, Jehovah, the cornerstone of Israel, Jehovah, the creator, the creator of Jerusalem, he that has chosen Jerusalem, and he chose Israel and loved Israel, and he has decided to now choose the church, the holy and sacred and repentant church, the righteous church, this church you see in Kenya here, the church that he has sent his servant to construct and restore. The church that you see is building in Nigeria is being constructed right now in Angola, in New Zealand, in South Korea, in many nations. Those that have returned to repentance and righteousness. So the Lord Jehovah is now instructing his servant to command the heavens to open when he comes to Durban, to South Africa, that on that day it may rain, a strange rain. And I see somebody with a microphone. I thought it was a long microphone or light, either light or microphone in the same meeting. It lifts a long one like for TV. I think there's a TV coverage because I see a long microphone above up like this trying to pick my sound at that time. And the rain, when it rains, the microphone will drip, will drip water on me, will drip water on me. So these are the things that the Lord is saying and doing at this time, at this hour, across the nations of the earth in preparation for that wonderful triumphant entry of Christ Jesus the Messiah into this landscape. And so the Lord has now decreed that when he brings his servant to South Africa, he has given him the key to open heaven over South Africa, that a latter most glorious, powerful, Holy Spirit rain may come down, a unique rain that will come down in a column all the way straight from heaven. And then later, as the man of God comments, look, it's only raining this side. Then it will sweep now by wind. I see the waves and wind now sweeping it across to different other areas. I don't know whether it comes to this side too, but it really goes to the other side. Then at the end of it, the man of God says, no, look, don't run away. Tell the people not run away. In Kenya, they don't run away from this rain. This is the showers of blessings, the torrents of blessings from heaven. I speak those words, but I see a live TV coverage also. So I see a long microphone raised up above and bends a little bit towards me. And when it's raining, so um, uh, the, the water, water forms its purpose. Columns, two columns actually, there will be two. Two columns fall from, from that microphone now on me at top as water flows, flows in the tap. And I, I said, oh, look, be, be careful, be careful. We can be electrocuted here. So I don't know whether it was a light or it was a microphone also, or both. Maybe it's both microphone and light for, for light coverage. And I said, be careful. Don't let the water touch the electricity. And then they switch it off, I think, at one point. However, the most important thing is that the Lord has now commanded that when his servant comes to South Africa, he must open heaven. Heaven must obey him and open and bring down the blessed Holy Spirit rain. The rain that when it fell on Kenya, Kenya has never, ever been the same again. Kenya now is a nation that is envied and coveted by many other nations. The first world, 
They run here. They long to be here to see what the Lord is doing, to see the latter revival that prepared the church, to see the glorious bride of Christ that was long foreseen, foresighted, and prophesied in the Bible. So these are the words of the Lord. And when these things come to pass, then you shall know that surely, surely, the Lord is preparing the nations, and the Messiah is coming. May the Lord bless you all as you prepare for the coming of the Messiah. And even as now the servant of the Lord begins to navigate the big ship to South Africa. Shalom.